grab some in my hand. Oh, and wow. then you use your thumb yeah. and you push it up. <laughs> Basaha. Basaha. To be honest, I didn't know if I was going to like this one. <laughs> Good. I feel like by the time the tagine comes, we're going to be full. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Morocco. Kind of excited because we've only seen like a little tiny bit of Marrakesh. And so today we're focusing on the food. Yes. We're going to be doing a street food tour here in Marrakesh. We're currently in the Medina and we're currently walking to the center to meet our guide. We're doing it with Marrakesh food tours and I'm so excited to try Moroccan food. Ah, thank you so much. Have you ever seen this many olives before? No, I don't think I have. <laughs> it's like marinated with something. Do you like olives? Yeah. Good. Thank you. I don't think I've ever seen pickled lemons before. This is like a, a fresh one. And this one's been sitting there for a while. Alrighty, so we've come out for lunch and before you get like your main dish, I think we're actually getting a tagine. You get served a bunch of starters or a bunch of side dishes. Now here in Morocco, lunch is kind of like the biggest meal of the day. So just see everything that's been presented to us. So of course we have some Moroccan bread just over here. We have some lentils, we have some beans. We've also got a bit of rice in here. And then this is really interesting. So we've actually picked up a French influence salad as well as your typical Moroccan influence salad. I feel like by the time the tagine comes we're going to be full. <laughs> the Moroccan salad kind of looks like a salsa. Oh yeah, it does look a bit like a salsa. Do you eat it just like this or is it a okay. Okay. It's a salsa. Yeah? Mm, nice. It's really fresh. Oh, it's sizzling. Oh wow. So we've got two tagines here. Our sizzling vegetable one over here. And then you can also go for a rabbit option. Wow. Alright, so we're going to stick with the veggie. <laughs> Alrighty, so the way you eat your tagine is you need to get bread, use your hands. <laughs> rip a piece rip off. Rip a piece off. Alright, and then you just dig in. What should I try and grab? Some of the potato. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really soft. Let's go for the carbs and carbs to start it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I went a bit too excited. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right. It's really good. It's really good? Mm -hmm. What type of flavors are you getting in there? It's like a big vegetable stew. Okay. So I guess like tagine is the container that they actually cook it in. And then what's inside, you know, it tastes like a, a veggie it's stew. It's really nice. good. You'd like it, Steve. Yeah? All right, well, yeah. let me get some of that bread. Thank you so much, cheers. Also, look at the view from our restaurant. So good, definitely, if you're eating Moroccan dishes here, especially the tagines, you're going to be so full by the end of it. We also had the French influence one. It was tuna and it had some pasta. It also had some rice in there, so another big carby dish as well. I think if you go out, you just need to have your big meal for the day. I can see why they have lunch as the main meal because, wow, like I'm good for the day and the tour's just started. I noticed that how you have to pull it up. Is that to stop the tea leaves coming out? Or is that just a fancy thing? <laughs> so they say that if it doesn't bubble. The tea is bad. Okay. Alright, so we've just been served the traditional Moroccan tea, which is Chinese gunpowder tea. Bear with me, it is the green tea with some mint leaves in there. Cheers. Cheers. How do you say cheers in... Basaha. Like okay. haha at the end. Basaha. Okay. Yeah. Basaha. <laughs> oh. It's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar in yeah. there. <laughs> the more sugar in there. So we've come to a local spot in a flea market and it's like a lot of old ladies just selling all kind of like secondhand goods and then we've come to this little restaurant here. We're going to be trying couscous. This is our first time trying couscous here in Morocco and the couscous here isn't just like your five minute packet put in the microwave stuff. This took two hours to make. So there's a whole process on how to make it but I'm going to be eating it the local way so the Moroccans eat with their hands so I'm going to have a go. I know it's going to be a little bit hot. So underneath here is all the couscous and on top is veggies and then this top bit is called tafaya so it's caramelized onions and sultanas. Raisins. Or ra raisins, sultanas. <laughs> Depending on where you are in the world. Yeah. We're Australians here, sultanas. Sultanas. Um, okay, so show us how we have to eat this like okay, the Moroccans. Okay, so I'm going to grab some with my hands. Wow, the last time we did this was in Malaysia, I think. Yeah, let's grab some in my hand. Oh, and wow. then you use your thumb yeah. and you push it up. Uh -huh. 
Oh. Mm. <laughs> Good job. I dropped a bit. <laughs> mm. Wait, I need to try some of the onion bit. Oh, well, caramelized onion is always so good. Mm. The ca I can already taste the caramelized onion and it's so good. Do you normally have guests eat it with their hands? Nope. No? <laughs> I had to try. Yes, yeah, good for you. Okay, good. But yeah, we like that. Mm. Now. Cool. That's my favorite dish so far. That's it good. is so good. The caramelized onions make it like sweet and the couscous has been cooked so well. So yeah, when you're eating the dish, it's a communal family dish and you just kind of just stick to your quadrant of the dish. Alrighty, Jess wants a tea top up. Now in Morocco, this is how you do the tea. Hi up. There you go. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, they say the bubbly the tea, the better. It's pretty bubbly. It looks good. <laughs> so when you're having dessert here in Morocco, it's mostly fruits, which means dessert can be very seasonal. At the moment, pomegranates are in season. Mm. So we've got this really big dish that's been put in front of us. I don't think you've ever had pomegranate before. I don't think I've ever just eaten it like no. this. Maybe in a juice. Hmm. That's nice. That is so fresh though. Wow. I definitely mm. not had it like that before. <laughs> another spot and this place has been open for almost 20 years selling basically one dish it's called hoot quarry which translates to fish balls <laughs> but it's not fish balls so it's basically like a sandwich that they make here out of a fish burger patty made of grilled sardines like mashed up grilled sardines but they've just shown us how to make one of these sandwiches so I'm gonna have a go so the first thing you do is you need to put on this salted butter which I think I've only ever seen here in Morocco so get some of the butter, you pop it on, and then I guess I'll get some of the fish burger, the fish burger patty. Which is sardines. Yeah, it's sardines. And then I'm going to put some of the onions and tomato on. Then you get a little bit of olives. Oh man, that looks like a good fish burger. Huh? And they were saying to make it extra tasty, you need to put a little bit of this hot sauce on. Kind of like sriracha. How hot is it? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely haven't tried anything like this before. This would be like good snack food, like just yeah. grab it on the go. It tastes like a burger. Really? Yeah, that's really, really good. <laughs> that's How that makes sardines taste like a burger? <laughs> Magic. Wow. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't know if I was in a like this one. That's good. Do you want to try mine? Yeah, let me try yours. Literally, it tastes like a burger. <laughs> Are you sure this isn't beef? Yeah. <laughs> I know! <laughs> That's sardine. Wow, I was expecting a really sardine taste. Yeah, it doesn't taste fishy at all. Yeah. It really tastes like you're having this like nice burger and then the onions and the olives give it like a kick. It's really, really good. And, uh, it's kind of like a flaky folded pastry and then he asked us if we wanted it plain and with honey and Nutella. So we went for the honey. They said it's like a, a kind of like a breakfast pastry. Yeah, I don't think there could be a very big French influence in this. Yeah, it looks like a crepe. Like, like a, crepe. a Moroccan crepe. Moroccan. That's what I'm calling it. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Fresh. It's crazy in here. It's so crazy in here. Alrighty guys, so we've come to our final stop on the tour and we've just been given two very Moroccan smoothies and a plate full of Moroccan, Moroccan like biscuits and cookies. I'm kind of excited and my smoothie, I've never tried this before, they said it was very Moroccan. I'm trying an avocado smoothie and Stephen got a date and almond which also sounds amazing but I've definitely never tried avocado in a drink before. Alright, give that a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Does it work? 
It's savoury, it's not sweet. Oh really? It does work. Yeah? It tastes like, I guess, avocado that's been mixed in milk. But it's not this, sweet. This How's your date? Good. Really nice. Is it? And you love dates, so that's like right up your alley. Mm. Oh yeah. If you're going to get one, get the date. Do you want to try the avocado? Alright. Okay, so I don't really like avocado. I do like guacamole, so there's no system to why I... Do you I... think it's a guacamole smoothie? <laughs> no. No, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to stick with my date train because this is really good. So there's like a bunch of different biscuits and cookies here, but the most traditional Moroccan is this one here. It's called Cab Gazelle. I don't even know what's inside it, but I'm going to have it a looks bite. Like it's like a wonton or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What is it? It's like floral. Floral taste? Floral. It's orange blossom and rose water. So it's like a really soft floral kind of pastry. It's really good. This would be so good with the mint tea. Oh mm. yeah. And the other thing I was really excited to try was this. It kind of reminds me of Moroccan biscotti and it's got honey and nut and actually when we checked into our Airbnb the other day the guy actually served us tea with one of these and I didn't actually try it. This will be my first time trying it. Biscotti is a good kind of explanation for it. Mm. Yeah, it's like a nutty bisco biscotti. Alrighty, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that little taste of Morocco. The food here is so good. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting, to be honest. This is literally the start of our time here in Morocco, so if there is anything you tried and we missed, let us know below so we can try it at some of our next stops. Yes. We're here for almost two weeks, so if there's anything we didn't try, make sure you write it in the comments below because we'll definitely be trying it. Also, if yeah. like there's any local food to try outside of Marrakesh, like if there's a traditional dish, let us know. But I hope you enjoyed it. We'll link the food tour we did below. But if you're new around here, Morocco is just beginning. So make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya! I like just want to design my house after the Moroccans. They really know how to design. And we're headed towards the coast. So we're heading towards a town called Essawaria for Welcome to Casablanca and welcome to the fifth largest mosque in the world. Oh,